Hello and welcome to this lesson where you will learn about inquirers in TypeScript. So inquirers in TypeScript are used to ask questions or prompt users for input in a structured way. This makes it easy for users to interact with your application or script through the terminal. So first thing that you need to do is you need to open the terminal. So once you open the terminal, you will see something like this. And the first thing that we will do is we will npm init minus y. So what we are doing is this is the command that initializes a new node.js project and it creates a package.json file as you can see over here with the default values. So if I just show you inside the file, you will see that these are all the default values. The name of the folder, so as you can see, this is the name of the folder and then the default version, description, we haven't provided any description and then the name of the file that it will be looking for. It means that we need to create a TS file with the name as index, so just keep that in mind for now. The next thing that we need to do is we need to initialize TSC. So that is TSC minus minus init. And this initializes a new TypeScript project by creating a tsconfig.json file as you can see over here. And what we are seeing over here are all the default configuration settings. And you can customize different parameters over here according to the needs. We will be modifying some of the values over here once we install the inquirer. So let's proceed and install the inquirer. So for that we will write down npm I inquirer. This means you need to install the inquirer. Let's wait for it to install. So this is installing all of the inquirer package as a dependency in your node.js project that you have just created. And this will allow you to use the library for creating interactive command line interfaces. Now that is done. Once this is done, what we will do is we will write down the command npm install all the types for inquirer. And that will be in the development mode. So this installs the type definitions for the inquirer library that we installed previously. And it installs it as a development dependency in the TypeScript project that we have just created right now. Now once that is done, what you need to do is you need to go over here to the target and just change the target to ES2022. By setting the target to ES2022, we are telling the TypeScript compiler to generate a JavaScript code that will be compatible with the script 2022 features, all right? And then the next thing that you need to do is you need to change the module to node next. So I will just write down node next over here. And then over here, you need to just uncomment this module resolution and also change this one to node next as well. And one last thing that you need to do before you run your inquirer package is to go to the package.json file. And over here is just write down type and the type will be module. These changes are necessary to ensure that the TypeScript project is properly configured to work with the modern node.js features and the inquirer.js library as well. Now once that has been done, as I told you previously, you have over here the name as index.js, which means you need to create a file with the name as index.ts over here. And now over here what I will do is I will create my new code. So let's close all of the extra things import inquirer from inquirer so we have imported inquirer from inquirer over here and now you need to understand how inquirer works so over here we will be using the prompt method for the inquirer and prompt method contains object within the arrays so how do you declare it so first thing first i will create a variable with the name as answer and that will be equals to await so this means that you are telling the TypeScript compiler, when the JS file is created, it will wait for the user input and the user input will be prompted to ask with the help of the inquirer.prompt method. And now what you need to do is you need to write down two round brackets and within it, you will have arrays as I told you and inside the arrays, you will have objects. So our first object needs to be declared first. Now there are a few things that are by default that you need to declare for all of the object. Number one is the type that you are going to take in as input. So the type that we are going to take in as input for the first one will be let's say input type. So there is no string type. If you want to take a string type as a prompt input from the inquirer package, you need to write it as input. Then the next thing we will give is the name. So what will be the name for that object? Let's say the name will be name itself because we are going to take a user input name and then you have the message. So the message is actually what you want the user to see on the screen and then respond to it. So we will ask the user to input their name. What is your name? And the user will enter their name over here. After that, I will create another object. 
let's take the type as number this time and this time I will give this object name as age and then the message will be obviously enter your age after that is done let's create a new object for the user to input their gender now this time what I will do is inside the type I will create something new and that will be list and this list will be kind of a drop down menu that will ask the user to enter their gender so just see how to declare it so the name will be gender obviously for this object and then the message will be what is your gender now over here you can see we are asking what is the gender but we are not providing anything so you have said here that you are trying to use the type as list but you haven't provided what sort of list you need to display to the user so for that case we will give choices and inside the choices we will create a list of choices so our first choice will be male second one will be female and maybe someone might prefer not to say so we will say prefer not to say alright so once that is all done so your answers are all going to be saved within the variable name as answer and you can use this variable name as you access your objects to access all of these answers as well so for that what we will do is we will do console.log and over here we will write down your name is and then the name of what the user just entered so answer.name will be the name obviously and then telling them your age is and then again concatenated with the answer dot age this time and then we can say your gender is and then answer dot whatever the gender selection they do so this is what the code looks like let's go ahead and transpile it so over here you will see that this time we are only using tsc and we won't be giving the file name and the reason is we have already created package.json file and it includes the name index.js so what it will do is it will look for index.ts file and it will generate the index.js file out of it so let's just run it here you go now node and then index.js so let's enter our name id and then let's enter the age 30 and now you can see you have a drop down menu in your CLI so you need to select one of the options with the help of the down arrow you can go to that option and once you press the enter it will select that option so you see it gives you the answer your name is Ali your age is 30 and your gender is main so you can see how you can make use of this inquirer package to make interactive and user friendly interface over the CLI so with this I hope you have got an understanding of how you can use inquirer to make your interactive CLI and take user input and display it with the help of console.log in our future session we will look at how you can create a calculator with the help of the inquirer package so don't forget to like and subscribe our channel so that you can get more informative videos like this